Let's animate these playing cards. Real quick, applying your feedback from last episode to this diamond and onto this top left index. Inspired by the medieval initial, the largest square highly decorative letter that starts out pages of medieval texts, this will be larger and more decorative than the other indices. I found this perfect font that has squarish characters and these lovely little flourishes that I am replacing with the suits of each card. Now to draw a medieval inspired sun. Starting with a vertical line, I'm using the stroke weight tool, that's shift W, to make it wide at the bottom and a point at the top. That then going to Effect, Distort and Transform, Zigzag, and playing with the settings to make that line wavy. Next, Object Repeat Radial will create our sun. After adjustments to the number of instances, the spacing, and the stroke weight, we're good to expand the line's appearance, making it into a shape. Finally, expanding the repeat and uniting using the Pathfinder window. Revisiting this technique from episode 1, I'm cutting this and pasting it on all artboards. Finally, the fun part, using Transform Each, which I also covered in episode 1, I'm rotating each sun slightly. I'm sequentially locking the suns by selecting selecting them and hitting command 2, then applying that slight rotation to the rest of the group by selecting all with command A, and then repeating the transformation with command D. This is the eventual effect, a rotating sun when the cards are flipped through. I'll be adding stars and clouds to these cards as well. I'd love your help dreaming up a new name for this deck. I pulled my stories and my favorite suggestions were Mother Heaven, Gravitas, which is gravity in Latin, Kylestes, which is celestials in Latin, and Raining Stars. Let me know your favorite or drop your other suggestions in the comments.